Okay, uh, I've had the question asked, how do I get from Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon Skywalk? And in fact, they had a little bit of trouble finding their way and, and got lost and weren't able to actually get to the Grand Canyon Skywalk. So I just wanted to go over these directions. Here we are in uh, Google Maps. And uh, fortunately, Google has a 3D version of this map now. And so you'll see here on the screen the blue that shows us how to get from Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon Skywalk. Let's go ahead and see where the 3D map takes us. All right, we're going to begin right here at the Bellagio. We're going to go out onto uh, I-15, and uh, they're going to take us from I-15 over here to the 215. So we're headed south on I-15. We're going to get on the 215, and we're going to go east. You'll see that we're going around McCarran International Airport. You'll see the runway there off to the left. And then we're going to head out through the, uh, uh, the Green Valley area of the Las Vegas Valley. That's where we're at right now. And once we get through the uh, Green Valley area, we're going to get on to Highway 93. Now, Highway 93 coming off of the 215 is going to take us out through the Henderson area. And uh, after we leave Henderson, we're then going to go right past the Railroad Pass Hotel. And we're almost there. You're going to see it uh, here. It's just going to be off to the left of Highway 93. There's the Railroad Pass Hotel. After we get past the Railroad Pass Hotel, uh, we can take a right and go down to Searchlight, but we want to keep going into Boulder, Nevada. Once you get into Boulder, you take a left right into downtown, and you head to the Lake Mead Recreation Area. Now, once we go down towards the Lake Mead Recreation Area, we're then going to pass the Hacienda Hotel, just past it. We're going to cross over the Colorado River Bridge, and then we're going to be on the Arizona side. So we just left Nevada, and now we're into Arizona on Highway 93. We're headed south to Kingman, Arizona. Now, uh, once we come up out of this uh, Colorado River Valley area, you'll see that we come up over the top and uh, go into another valley. And we're going to be going down Highway 93. What you need to be looking for is a sign on the left that says the Grand Canyon Skywalk, the Hualapai Nation. And as you go down Highway 93, there will be a few small establishments as you go. But again, keep your eye out for uh, the big sign on the left that will say Grand Canyon Skywalk. You don't want to miss that. As you're keeping your eye out, you're also looking for the Pierce Ferry Road. That's where that sign will be. And uh, we're just about there. Uh, it is quite a long drive, and it, it, it's very open uh, desert as you drive as well. So you should see the sign, Grand Canyon Skywalk, and here you'll hang a left on the Pierce Ferry Road. Once you leave the Pierce Ferry Road, once again you'll climb up out of a valley and you'll start to come through uh, actually a fairly populated area. You're going to want to make sure here at the Dolan Springs area that you are uh, following the speed limits because the Arizona DPS is out there monitoring and the speed drops I believe down to 45 and maybe even 25 on some sections out there so make sure you're obeying the speed limit. You'll then go through Dolan Springs and you'll continue on. You're on the Pierce Ferry Road. Next you'll come into another valley and there's actually a road that comes in from the south from Kingman called the Stockton Hill Road. It will come in on your right. You can see it there coming in right now. There's the Stockton Hill Road. Then you'll continue up and you're looking for the Buck and Doe Road. Now there will be a sign off to the right that will say the Grand Canyon Skywalk and Grand Canyon West. If you don't make the right hand turn right here you'll head down to Lake Mead and Mead View. So make sure you make that right hand turn. You're on Buck and Doe Road and you're headed out to Grand Canyon West and the Grand Canyon Skywalk. It drops into this little canyony area here. Um, this is the part of the road right here that is not paved. And you'll go past the uh, Grand Canyon West Ranch. And you'll come up through this little canyony area. It is dirt road. It's highly traveled, so it's well maintained. But not until you top out will you get back to paved road. Once you top out, you'll then be at the Grand Canyon West area here on Buck and Doe Road. Right there, you'll pass the sign that says Grand Canyon West. And then you'll come in and you'll see the Grand Canyon West Airport. This is actually where you will pull in and check in and pay your entrance fees. You're actually not allowed to follow all the way out to the Skywalk, but I did want to show you the road all the way out to the Skywalk. 
and here you are at the Grand Canyon Skywalk and you can see it hanging over the canyon edge right there so let's step back just a little bit you'll actually come in here and all the parking area is right there and here's the Grand Canyon West uh, check-in area this is where the helicopters can take you to the bottom of the Grand Canyon if you were to fly out here here's the Grand Canyon West Airport where you'll land and the terminal that you'll come into so when you come to Grand Canyon West you're able to come out to the skywalk you can also go out here to Guano Point and here at Guano Point is a great view looking into the Grand Canyon you can see that down there so just wanted to make sure you knew how to get out to the uh, Grand Canyon Skywalk and Grand Canyon West um, and I hope that this helps uh, those who travel there in the future so they don't get lost so enjoy <music>